Redeemer. Hi everyone. So today let's unbox the CPU heat pipe cooler from Segotech. The model is A6. And by the way, this product is not sponsored in any way. I just bought this from uh, an online store and I just want to show the unboxing and it's a pack on the computer. Okay, so let's open the box. These are the peripherals for mounting to the motherboard. The black bracket will be used for Intel processor or Intel supported motherboard. Also inside there is an AMD steel bracket and additional or backup mounting bracket. Check the actual pan. We still have the manual here. Let's get the pan. Okay. So this is the 120 mm hydraulic pan. And we have the radiator type cooler here. And also, as you can see, the six copper pipes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this PC that I have right now is using a stock pan. The processor is uh, Intel Core i7 8th gen. We will check the temperature uh, readings in uh, stock cooler. And then afterwards, I will install the uh, Segotab cooling pan. And uh, let's find the difference. Okay, let's try to check the temperature right now. The temperature is from 38, 37, 39. So this is the normal temperature. And we will try to stress test the CPU and see how it goes. Okay, this is the temperature right now. Celsius, 63, 57, 59, 60. Right now the hottest temperature is 70. Going down to 64, 65. Okay. okay, according to the table here, the max temperature that has been reached is 72 degrees Celsius. Next thing is to install the Segotab uh, CPU cooling pan. I have installed the pan now and replaced the stock CPU cooler. Next thing is to monitor the temperature and do the same uh, method that we did before, which is to run the CPU stress test and then check the temperature. Okay, let's turn it on. Now I have replaced the CPU cooling pan. We are now using the Segotep 6 pipe CPU cooler. Normal temperature now ranging from 30, 31 to 32, 34. So let's try to run the stress test. And see how it goes. 46, 47, 45, 44, 43, 43. So the maximum temperature that we have according to this column is 56. So it's a big difference from the 
the stock cooler. The stock cooler have reached uh, more than 70 degrees, I think. 